Hello everyone, I'm Gordy. Today we're going to be soldering a talking alarm clock. Uh, quite a few pieces to this one. Got some freaking digit displays. 10K and 330K resistors, three switches, a thermosistor, a solar sensor, small LED, quite a few, uh, so there's some capacitors, there's a few little transistors up in there too. I believe there's also a crystal in there. Yeah. So this one has three chips, one of which we have to make. So we are going to make that chip right now. This is one of the integrated chips that go on the board, and it was a surface mount solder. It's already been soldered. The surface mount has already been soldered. All we have to do is solder it together right there. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to solder this little fella together. Let me adjust my camera so that's more in the center. And we will get it soldered up right here. So. There we go. And it zooms back in on Yoda. Nice shirt. Alright. Let's tear it up a little bit. There we go. I'm going to solder in there. Solder it on there. Spin that little fella around. Yeah, I think this .6 is going to work a lot better than the one. Uh, it just leaves a better looking bead on the part. Alright, so there's our first little chip that we got to solder up. First part that we get to make is one of the little chips right here. So let's get to going on the main board. Um, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see what I think is going to be the best one. Let's start with the 10Ks. So we will start with the 10K. And a 10K resistor is going to go in 13, 14, 15. No, oh, even in 12, 11, 10, 9, and 18. So there's a lot of 10K resistors. start getting these little babies in place here all right and it said we're gonna go we're gonna go in we're gonna find nine and ten let's find nine even 18 was one so 18 and again uh, resistors do not have to go in in any specific fashion there is not a positive or a negative just put them in but when I do them I like to do them so they're they look the same they all are in exactly the same just for that's just for looks nothing else that it is all of them I'm going to take all out but one because if I am correct it is all of them that come out and go on top like I'm blue.
resistors in place here. Got three more to put in right there, if I'm correct. Yeah. And the next ones are the 330 resistors. So, and I'm just going to put all of them in at once, and then just go right down the line soldering them fellas in place. And what I'm going to do. What I'm going to end up doing. So there's all of our first resistors and we're all the uh, 10K. Now we're going to throw in the 330K and that's also 8 of them. 7 and 8. Alright. Downstairs doing a video! Love you, bye. Love you, bye. There's my oldest daughter, Hannah. She's going out with some friends. Alright, so the orange color is on top. Quite a few of these little fellas to put in, man. <laughs> so I am going to be ordering a better helping hand at some point. No, that's the thing that'll hold all of my parts while I'm soldering them and whatnot. I could have probably have alternated that would have been pretty cool too to have alternated them but no big deal just for aesthetics and only for aesthetics that's all that they're for alright fold all those up and then start going down the line man that side and then we'll come over to the other side and get that all soldered up and then get them snipped. 
So I did go on a hike. Um, I wasn't supposed to be back home until today. An issue arose with our friend that was hiking with us. Um, medical concerns and whatnot caused me to have to cancel the hike while we were out there. Um, the location we were at on the hike, once we got past that point, it's like the point of no return. And it's at a 12 mile campground if you're going from east to west on the trail going through pictured rocks. And once you get to that point, if there's any injuries, concerns, or what have you, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, once you're at that location, that's the end of being able to get out easily without having to be rescued by, like, the Coast Guard and whatnot. And I really did not want that on one of my hikes, so I canceled the hike instead while we were out on the hike. It sucks having to do that, however, I would rather have done that, and as I said before, having to get a Coast Guard rescue in for someone during a hike that I am responsible for. So, that wasn't going to happen. Note on my watch. So, yeah, so we canceled the hike. Uh, we got one night in. Second night, we were supposed to stay at a campground on the trail called Seven Miles. Seven Miles is a really nice campground too. Um, probably one of my more favorite ones on the on that trail. Just it's right on Seven Mile River, and one of the campsites is like super right on the river. Sure, get every little nub here. Don't need any nubs sticking up, you know. Alright, so there's that. We got all of that taken care of. Move these little wires over here to the side. Get them out of the way. Don't need that one. Over here now. Alright, so then the crystal oscillator. So let me see where's that little crystal at. Where did our little crystal go? Let me find our little crystal here. There it is. Our crystal oscillator. Okay, so where does our crystal oscillator go? Right here. Also with the crystal oscillator there, that is also another one that doesn't matter, you can put it in either way. And little ones here, I gotta find out which capacitors are which here. Let me see, there's a 22, here's a 22, that's not here right now. There's a 104. And the 104. All right, so those 22s go in C4 and C5. C4 and C5. Our little capacitors. Our two little fellas there. And these big ones go in C1, C2, and C3. There's C1. There's C3. 
here's C2. step of the solderings. Oh, I forgot to clink off these 22s. Shame. This little father does now. A friend of mine is also doing soldering projects on Facebook and YouTube. His name's Eddie Bryant. I'll post a link to his channel here. others would like to watch they can watch both of us do some cool little projects here all right there was a little bit of build up on that there we go now we got a clean solder Here we go. All soldered up. My little leg snipped. And I'll come over all this. Come over my table with a magnet. Get all the little legs snipped up. Can't have them laying out. Someone might step on it. That would really be a bad day. Step on one of these little metal pieces, get it legged up in your foot. Ooh -wee. We don't want that. Alrighty. So there's that. Little fellas over here. There's one right there too. All right. Do not believe I need those resistors right now. I'll install the battery snap. So that is a little fella right here. Battery snap is going to go into BT1. It's just a small little spot for a, a little single to put one of the little cell batteries, you know, consider them watch batteries. To put one of those little fellas. And then the light, but the light, I can't do the LED light right now because I have to do the back side of this. So. There we go, nice clean solder joint there. And a nice clean solder right there. Nice, nice, very, very pretty. All right, and then that, the LED is gonna go right here on the board, um, right here, it says LED. So, on that, I'm going to tin up, prepare the board here. Alright, 
right. And then I do not believe there is a positive or a negative on this. No, 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 no. There is a positive and a negative. So there is the positive. See it on the LED. There's such a small little positive mark. Holy cow, is it such a small little mark, too. Oh, wow, is that small. So the plus, I mean, that plus was tiny. Holy Guacamole. Is that thing small, man? I'm probably going to get a better soldering station, too. Um, this one's just a cheap little soldering station. It's nothing to, to write home and brag about, you know? All right, IC sockets with 8 pin on the board. So on these, just like on any socket, there's that little notch up there. On the board, it also shows a small notch. And when you line it up, you just line the notches up. Pretty simple. And as long as none of the pins are bent. Come on, baby. Get in there. There we go. Got one in, and now we'll get the other one in so these again these are uh, the little, little ports for the IC chips the IC sockets and with those no oh, sorry I have bad allergies I do not like the spring or the These are pretty small. I'm not gonna go through and snip them down or anything. They're they're pretty tiny little spots here. Little, 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 little spots right here. Better remember that my camera's on this side of me. There we go. So we got our IC chip ports, our uh, IC connectors in, the IC sockets. Okay, side switches are next. So they go into S1, S2, and S3. So there's S1 and S2. S2, S3 is on top. These are like the setting ones to set everything, and that is to have it talk to us. We're gonna start with these back ones.
Alright, now we got them buttons, our switches put in. Our joints look nice, alright. <laughs> now it is the five pieces of transistor. S8550, that must be all of these transistors, must be S5, yep, they all are. They, it's what they all be. All of them are the same. So, go through here now, and then these all just get put into their locations. Q1 through Q5. Uh, and these, there is a way to put these in, so you know transistors like a half a moon. And on the diagram, you'll see where they're a half a moon. Yeah, they show you how they go in place. Sometimes they'll be easy, just nice and straight, like what these ones are. Other times, you have to bend one of the notches, one of the third leg, the middle leg, sorry. You have to bend that middle leg out. If you have a solder project you'd like to see me do, just send me a link to it uh, down in the comments. I don't know if anyone's if anyone watches it, but you know what? Send a link in the comments. To a solder project you'd like me to review. And solder up and I'll do it. No problem, man. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty fun. So we're just going to go down a line this time. We're just going to go straight down that line and just zip these right out. Right here, okay? So these ones right here, we're just going to zip out real quick. I mean, it's a straight line. Very, very easy. Oh, yeah. So we have five chickens. I'm pretty sure I talked about that in the other video. We just got two ducks. Right before the hike, we got some ducks. Just some little babies. A uh, coin and goose are their names. So now here we will go right down in. One bug is snipped off. And the bug is snipped off. The little bug is right here. Snipped off. Snipped off and legs snipped off now. I'm actually going to take care of these little, take care of the legs right now. Because they are bothering me being right there. I just, I'm worried I'm going to forget about them. I do have memory issues in that. Brain injury. Concussions and other things. Alright, so. Those parts. Now, let me see. Next. <clears throat> Same height as the push button switch, so that's good. All right, install. Six, huh? That's a big one, I'm hoping. And I gotta find 
of C0 in this, in the instructions here, is I've got to find out which electric capacitor it's wanting me to put in because I have two electric capacitors here and I have a C0. Zero is the ten. Let's see if this is my ten. All right. So yes, it is this one. Big, 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 big feller. Four hundred and seventy, man. The long leg on these is the positive. It also does have it marked on the shorter leg that it's negative right there. So positive is the long leg. ever see it ever telling me to put in C0. Hmm. There has to be a time when I was supposed to install C0. Yes. And I'm trying to find it and there's nothing in here about when to install C0. This is the 10 Microfarad, I believe, is what it is. Oh, it's not C6. I am not seeing where it ever tells me to install C0. However, the instructions, well, the details do show, the schematic does show this being in C0. So I will put it in. I'm going to put it in there. Um, like I said, it's kind of weird. The direction in the schematic shows it. Instructions do not. that it says to put in the DC jack which goes in down here so we'll pop our DC jack in now that's why I'm using that point six the point six is pretty nice universal solder uh, make sure you are using a resin cord solder too spot for our battery, we've got a spot for that, we need to put the thermal resistor and the photo resistor in. Okay, so, and it says to kind of install these a little goofy because of how they're going to be, and this is going to be in R16, there is no positive or negative, so don't worry about that. We're going to pop that into place here. Right on in. There we go. 
nice little bend. Alright, so there's that. Then we got the uh, resistor, and then it also does not have positive or a negative. That's gonna be just put it right down straight, man. And that's gonna be on the other way. The other side here. I'm gonna make sure that they're in a good spot due to you know the buttons and other little things. And they're going to be going in and out of here. I do have the case already set up. While the case is ready, I will put it together and then show the finished product. Because uh, putting the case together is probably not going to be a highlight of the video. I don't It's very entertaining to see that part of it. So there's that. No, I have that last IC chip. I have this one to put in. See, and that right there wasn't in there either. No, I was. <laughs> Missed it when it was in there. Alright, so I'm gonna have to. Set it on something for right now so I can get at least one spot soldered in. straight down a line with them. Solder the LED digits on. nice so there's that that is completely now soldered up I can put my chips in here now alrighty so this one is the one that we built that is going to go over here facing one two three four up Why 
It's got to be up above there, man. There's some small things in there. So with the chips, due to me not programming them with chips, you can solder them directly onto the board. Uh, just so you know, I mean you can if you'd like. I do not. I put them in their little, their little sockets. Just it looks nicer. On uh, the chips, there is a spot, just like there is on. All right, I'm trying to. My brain's a little mushy right now. Uh, on the chips, there's also a little divot that you put it into. So on these, these have a dot. Okay, you can see the dot, and on the board, it shows the digit with a little dot down there. That's where the dot's going to go. Ooh, this one has some bent up freaking things too. That is not cool. into place because these pins just and they line up okay they do just gotta get them to line up correctly here in the right spot In. Nice. All right. Now we can get our other pins. These should all just yes. Yeah, in this one, they line right up easy. These ones do. The other one, just that first one, don't want to. That one's got a few little bent pins too. wonder what else this board could have on it. Uh, there's a few other little spots. There's a P1. There's a few other little empty holes that these can go that some of the more parts can go into. Which is kind of cool. So I wonder what those are actually for.
right. Let's get back to soldering these little fellows into place now. Hopefully everyone's had a fairly good summer. I know due to a worldwide issue right now, not everyone's summer was the best. But you know what? We can make the best out of it, everyone. But we right now in uh, the area I live in in Michigan, we do not have internet services school district still isn't a hundred percent on how they're going to be doing everything and I already said I really don't want my kids being sprayed at school each day when they arrive you know getting sprayed with freaking who knows what so my children are going are doing homeschooling the online schooling problem with that is that we do not have internet services so now there's a lot of the members of our township are going after our township and after charter spectrum charter communications because our township does have a contract with charter and currently there's only 27 homes in the entire township with services try to say that only a thousand of those residents have services but we already know that that's hoax um, there's a contract the contract states they will exclusively provide services to the residents and they're not providing any services to the residents so here is our clock the clock is finished I will get it all put together and then show you the final product. So, it works, man. Um, it's pretty cool. It actually works. I'm trying to figure out how to... This thing is 12.54 p.m. But... All right, so yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I'll get everything set up and figured out. This is pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. So we'll see what happens here. Hmm. Yeah, all right, thank you.